name in my shop is Hot Rods by JSK and I'm the owner. What you're looking at is a 1932 Ford, four door, high boy sedan. All the parts are handmade. It's running a 312 Y block. It's a new old stock Hilburn mechanical fuel injection that's been converted to electronic fuel injection. The top's been chopped to two and a quarter inches. One of the things about the car that pops out when you open the doors, there's no B-pillar. We took the B-pillar out. It's got a sway bar that runs through the oil pan, which kind of blows everybody's mind. When you kind of first look at the car, it, the suspension kind of looks like it's riding on air because all the springs kind of run parallel with the frame rails. It's called a wide open. The Y for the Y block and then the open for the, the no B pillar. So it just kind of got a nickname around the shop wide open. We got at least a million in it. I feel pretty comfortable that this car can compete with any of them, really, to tell you the truth. I'm just glad to be at that level. Seeming to me is the, the special automotive marketplace and it's probably the biggest thing, you know, in the world. It's a lot of venue just Tons and tons and tons of people. A lot of walking. <laughs> I think what's important to me is, is the, the national coverage, and uh, this will actually be the second car that we've had at SEMA. I think it's a SEMA-worthy car of the, the type of build that it is and all the hands-on parts, and, and uh, everything's one-off. I, I think that's, that's why it fits right in at SEMA. All the blood, sweat, and tears that, that it took getting this thing. Every, every one of us that had anything to do with this car has bled on it at one time or another. Like I said, when you leave at the end of the day after working on a project like this, sometimes it's a high note, sometimes it's a low note. When you actually get to see the car finished, all that kind of goes away. I'm honored. I mean, I'm really honored to, uh, to get picked. And, and like I say, never, never, never thought that I would be here or my shop would be here. And uh, it's really a big thing for me. It's, it's really important. If I'm picked to be in the top 10, I think what it would do for my shop, when you come from a town of 700 people, I've worked all my life to try to get my business out there. And uh, I, I think that would, that would really help all of us, you know, get, get, get out there where we need to be. I don't know, you, it seems like you're really nervous until you see the, that first guy with the smile on his face and then it all kind of goes away and, and uh, the butterflies kind of fly away from there and it's it's all good <laughs>